All right, hey people. So bright out, I can't even see the viewfinder. Um, today is probably going to be my last day on the wood pile because this load is almost finished. And a short story: if I was to order order another load of logs, I'd be 67 by the time I finished cutting it. And at this point, this is the trigger finger for the for the saw and it's swollen from two days of cutting yesterday and the day before and saw a spot right on there and um, so I'm too old for this the logs get heavier the the rounds get heavier every year and and I just can't do this anymore so I figured I'd do some video today since it'll probably be the last time I do any significant cuttings Hey guys, if you were watching the time lapse and you saw me scraping around on this log here, um, the reason is because if you look at the top here, this is the one that came out of the dirt. You see the big track there from where it's been sitting for two years in the dirt and um, it's all muddy. And if you're new to chainsaws, just about the worst thing you can do to kill your chain in a hurry is to hit dirt, especially dirt and little rocks. So I scraped this off here to get as much rock and little dirt as I could off there. I'll probably let it dry now and then brush it before I go back to cutting it. I'm going to cut this big long one in half and then I'll probably get a hand truck. Let's see if I can shoot into the shade. And then I'm going to line it up here against this stack. And then this is where it's going to sit until next year when I'm ready to kill it, to cut it again. But I'd rather have it sitting killing grass over here than have this eyesore in the middle of the lawn for another summer. So I'm just going to get as much as I can. This is all for the for the following year for 2017 so it's really bright out tonight today and beautiful it was 24 last night but 38 when I came out here but in the Sun with no breeze it's really warm so I guess this is a good time to take a first coffee break all this bending up and down right after breakfast is not good for the gut and I'm sure coffee isn't either but I guess I'll do that cut there and let the mud on this thing dry out and then I'll come back to maybe the time lapse or whatever. I should have mentioned this before I did it I suppose but like I said the worst thing you can do is hit the dirt. So there's a couple of ways to deal with a situation like this long log here that you want to split in the middle. What I did when I went to the middle of this one. If I found a place where it's raised from the ground, so I can stick, I can stick wrap pieces of wood under there, so that when the chain go, when the saw goes through, it's not actually hitting the dirt. And then when it's finished, as you see there, all you got to do is wobble it. <laughs> maybe I can show you, maybe not. Ugh. Well, I don't know, you can probably hear it, but what you can do is use its own weight to snap the tiny little bit that's left over at the bottom like that. And now I'll get the, it's still attached a little bit, so you just grab that and when I grab the tool to move it in a minute, I'll, I'll just snap the rest of that off and set it over here where I want it. And then as I cut, instead of throwing it over there, I'll start stacking it over here so I don't have to do double work. So, we'll be back.
Um, at the end of this short video, I'll put a link to the original video where, I'll, where you can actually see it working and um, see how well it performs. Um, the purpose for this one is that I kept posting updates under the other video and the last one had been that it was working fine and right after I updated um, it stopped working so fine. So I called the company on that Monday. It happened on a weekend of course. So I called the company on Monday and I, I told the guy what was happening. And I don't want to encourage any kind of people calling them up and, you know, telling stories. So anyway, I told the guy what was wrong with it. And he says, oh, it must be such and such, and we'll send you a new one. And it was that simple. Here's a new one. So, as I say, um... Look on the original video if you want to see how well it performs. And it did die, and I don't think I was responsible for killing it, but um, the two-year warranty, and I bought it in October of 14, and this was in, like, April of 16, so I had a, for a year and a half, I cut about four cords of wood with it. Um, thanks for watching, as always. If you're considering a saw, I don't know what Black & Decker's um, I don't know what Black & Decker's warranty is, but I would definitely consider one of these babies. $79 and a free replacement. Uh, really good people. Can't say enough good things about Sun Joe. They also have Snow Joe where they make electric, um, anything from snow blowers to winter stuff. And then for the summer they have these and lawn mowers and weed whackers and everything else electric. So uh, thanks again. Have a great day.